Hey friends and welcome back to Krusty Cranks TV where we paint baits and make lures and um, alright today I got one for you um, this one's called the Blake Lash and the reason it's Blake Lash is because my uh, little friend Blake he started fishing with us bass fishing actually started catfishing with us too and uh, he couldn't throw a bait caster he always backlashed it so uh, we call we start calling him Blake Lash. His name's Blake, but uh, this is his lure because he's been catching some bass on it. And I originally did this lure when I first started painting baits, and I forgot all about it actually. And he bought it from me way before I even started selling lures. And uh, yeah, so he started catching fish, and he was lost it, and he was like, "Can I get some more of those lures?" So um, I haven't painted this one on camera, so I thought, "What the heck? I'll go ahead and do this one." so uh you guys can learn the pattern all right so colors we're going to use today titanium white which i already primed my baits with we're going to hit it with some pearl white then we're going to use pearl wicked pearl gold wicked gold then we're going to use wicked pearl copper and then we're going to use wicked detail umber burnt umber okay all right, so let me get the paints in, in the gun, and let's get started. Okay, let's get a little pearl white on this guy. Actually, we're going to do two. We're going to do a S crank, and we're going to do a regular 2.5 square bill. Actually, I think we're going to do three. I think I'm going to do these little 1.5s. Another 1.5 I got, too. I know it's kind of hard sometimes to see these colors going on and I'm really going to work on trying to get better pictures for you guys at the ends of the video because sometimes it's hard, it's hard to see some of the effects and the colors on these paints. Especially the pearl white on white. But if you're painting baits, you know what the pearl white does. It brings it out. It gives it. Even when you use a transparent color on top of it, you get a little bit of a little bit of a pearl effect. And let me hit one of these little 1.5s too. Should be having some videos going up. I got a bunch of new patterns I've been working on, and then um, I got another video coming up too where we're going to start doing something a little different on the channel, adding in some something new. So stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and uh, help me get to a thousand. That's my goal. I want to get a thousand subscribers. Um, it's my goal so if you don't mind click that subscribe button too give me a subscribe okay Been playing around with these little 1.5s in the test pond. Man, these little guys got some action to them. And actually, one of my buddies was over. He fishes bass tournaments all the time, and he was telling me how much he likes them. And so, uh, I 
been playing around with a little bit of those. All right, I'm gonna let this dry, get the rest of this paint out of here, and I'll bring you back. All right, so next color we're going with is Wicked Gold. Turn my pressure down a little bit. Um, sorry, bumped the camera there. All right, so we're just gonna lay that Wicked Gold down the sides. And I want to go down a little further with the gold, almost down to the little ladder line on the bait. Because I want to have a blend between that copper. And I got a little too much reducer in there. I want to have a blend of that copper and the gold. The copper's got a little bit more of a reddish effect to it. And I want to get the gold kind of deep so I don't have to use a lot of umber and really darken it up. I want it to kind of have a blend between the gold into the copper into the brown of the umber Okay, let's dry that. Dry those two, three actually, and um, give it another coat. Okay, sometimes if you get a little too much reducer, just put a few more drops in there. Dry it. Dry your bait with some heat. Add a couple drops of more pain in there. You should be good to go. These really turn out to be nice looking baits with the combination of the gold and the copper. Blending into the umber.
and I'm spraying it down real. My pressure's down. I'm just on about 12. Because I want that, get that gold to go down. But not full gold. I want that blend, the, the little vignette that I'm going to have. Or gradient, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's get this little guy again. Okay. All right, I'm going to get this gold out of here, put the copper in, and I'll bring you right back. Okay. Now we just want to go down the back a little bit. But we want to keep some of that gold on there. So just. I'll show you once I get one of them done, I'll show you kind of how they look, the difference. Give him a good little copper nose. Of course, we're going to hit that. So you should be able to kind of see the difference now. See how that copper's got a little bit more of a reddish tint to it. Almost about the color of a clean penny. Real nice clean penny. But don't go all the way down so you don't lose that. Lose that gold transition right there. Just take it over the shoulder just a little bit. You maybe can see it on the back one. You can see that difference between the red and the gold. Or the copper and the gold, sorry. Alright, let me get a little bit on this little guy here. I'm gonna try to get a bunch of videos out for you guys. I know I'm getting picking up a bunch of new subscribers and like I said in earlier videos, I like to show you guys the different color combinations I think for beginners it's really cool to see what you can accomplish with different color combinations that would be a good looking bait right there just leaving it like that I do have one like that but you know, if you can see the difference All right, uh, let's get this copper out of here. We'll get on to our last color, which is burnt umber. And I'll bring you right back.
Okay. And one good thing when you're doing more than one bait is you can bring them together and take a look at them. And I can see this one's got a little bit of lightness here on the back. So since it's dried a little bit, I can come back and just give a little, another little thin coat. Darken them up. But all in all, they're going to look pretty even between the three. All right, I'm going to dry these up and bring you back. We'll put some eyes on it and then we'll give it some epoxy. Okay, um, I've decided to go with this yellow eye because that's what was on the original one that I did. And I'm going to put these up on the website. So um, I want to make sure that I got eyes an abundance of eyes in case I get some orders the one thing I can give you a hint to is like uh, if you use an eyeball on a bait and you're selling it make sure you have access to those eyes when a customer orders one and you're out the eyes because I had that little situation with the dragon eyes and I had a bait with a dragon eye on it and I used up all the yellow ones and a fella ordered a bait from me once before and I was out of yellow eyes the yellow dragon eyes So I used the green one and I actually replaced it on the picture on the website to make sure that if somebody bought it that they would see that it has green eyes now because I had a ton of green eyes, green dragon eyes and I wanted to use them up and it really looked cool with the green eye too, same bait. But he had evidently, had, well, I, actually he did order, he ordered the bait from me once before. And I didn't really pay attention to who the customer was. And uh, he ordered it from the green eye picture. So that was the bait I sent him. And he gave me a one star review because it didn't have the yellow eye on it and he said I ordered one before and it had a yellow eye and he wanted the one with the yellow eye so if you're selling baits you can do one of two things put on there that your eye color may change if you run out of eyes or make sure you have access to get more of those eyes because when I went back to reorder the eyes they were all out of them and I had to wait so inevitably I had to redo his bait and resend it to him with a yellow eye because I didn't want to unhappy customer he had bought a few baits from me before so yeah just make sure if you if you're selling baits and you put a yellow eye or a green eye or whatever eye you put on there and you decide to switch it either list that as a new bait and tell them that the old bait is not available or Make it out of stock until you get more of those eyes. This is, most of the time I don't have a problem. They're usually in stock, especially on Amazon. But occasionally, when you need one, you run across it.
and that might not be available. And if a guy's bought baits from you before and he wants the same bait, They might not even pay attention to the picture. They just know that that was the bait they had and it had a yellow eye on it. So, just a little tip from somebody who's been selling baits and um, that's what I, you know, try to do. I try not to switch it up, but I had an abundance of those yellow or green eyes and I wanted to actually get rid of some of them. And I did a bait with the green eye, and I thought, wow, that looks pretty cool. So, yeah. Just a little tip for you. If you make something up, stick to it. If you make a change, make it a new item. Because people remember, especially if they've bought baits from you before. All right. Got the Blake Lash. This is Blake Lash. The Blake Lash. S crank 2.5 and a little 1.5. So let me get some epoxy on them. I'll bring you back and we'll wrap this video up. Okay, friends, here we are. Here's the finished three. 1.5, 2.5, and an S crank in the Blake Lash pattern. All right, this is CC081, 082, and 083. The Blake Lash. Okay, and colors we used today was Wicked Pearl White. Then we used Wicked Gold on the top shoulders. Then we come on top of that with the Wicked copper and then very top tent is burnt umber okay and then we chose the yellow uh, iridescent eyes so yeah I think it turned out pretty good I brought it outside so you can really see the colors I think I'm gonna start doing this when we have nice weather out it's a beautiful day today here in southern Ohio and um, I'm doing some photography on some of my lures took some pictures of these um, so let me know in the comments if you like this better if you think it shows the colors a little better obviously on cloudy rainy days I might have a problem but uh, I got a bunch of nice weather coming up planning on doing a bunch of videos for you so um, yeah stay tuned if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe hit that notification bell so you get notified when we put up a new video and if you like these lures please give me a thumbs up I appreciate it and always remember stay crusty my friends